Hello there guys, welcome to my channel Dream to Animate. In the last video I have told you about library panel. There I showed how library stored symbols. In this video I will show you more different kind of objects and how to import them on Adobe Animate CC. This will also work on Adobe Flash CS6. So guys if you are new to my channel then hit the subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon so that you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Now move on to the video, let's get started. There are three things you can import on your Adobe Flash or Adobe Animate CC document. First, graphic. It can be anything like JPG image, PNG image, GIF image, etc. You can also import GIF animation file on your document. Second, audio file. It can only import WAV audio file and some static bitrate mp3 files. Static bitrate means the bitrate should not change throughout the audio. And third, video. You can only import FLV video file in the timeline. Now the question is, what about other video format? You can import other videos but it will load with a player. You will get an idea about it when I will show you. So let's just begin to import object. To import any object, you have to go to File, Import and here you can see four options. First, Import to Stage. It will import your object directly to the stage and you can use it. Second, Import to Library. It will import the object to library. You cannot see this on stage until you drag it from library. Third, Open External Library. You can import library object from different flash document. And the last option is import video. So first I am going to click on import to stage and import a jpg image file. Here it will pop up a file browser and you can browse your image from here. I have this jpg file here. So I just select it and click on open. See here it has imported. You can also see it on library. Now, I will import the JPG from the second option which is import to library. I am deleting this from library for now. Go to file, import and click on the second option. The process is same. Select the image file and click open. Now it did not show on the stage but you can see on the library. This is the difference between these two options. Import to stage will import the image on both stage and library but import to library only import the image to library. Choose these options according to your need. Next I will import an audio file. Must remember Adobe Flash or Animate CC can only import WAV audio file and some mp3 files. So if any mp3 file source can't import then change that file to WAV and it will work. To import audio file, I will do same steps. Go to file, import and choose either import to stage or import to library. Here on the desktop, I have a recorded audio from my previous video. I select it and click open. Now where is the audio? You can see it on the library but not on the stage because the audio file does not have anything to display. Then where you can find the audio? It's simple, on the timeline. Insert more frames until the full audio ended. I am inserting frames and here you can see it ended. So I remove frames from here 960. Done. Here I want to share a quick settings. Click on the audio at timeline in any frames. Then come to properties panel. You will see sound properties here. If you see the sync option, it will stays at event by default. Change it to stream. 
you will find the difference when you work with audio. Explore it by yourself. Next is importing video. It is a little bit tricky. Go to file, import and click on the last option, import video. It will open this import video box. You will see it already select on your computer option. Below that you will see three options. First option can import almost every video but with a player. Let me show you. Select the first option and click on the browse. You can choose the video file from here. I have made this globe rotation animation. For now I am choosing it. Click open. You can see the video link here. Now click next. This is how the player will look like. Don't need to change anything here. Click next and click finish. You can't see the video playing here. You will see the video playing when you export the animation which leads to another video export. I will make this video later. So this is how you can import almost all the video. Next is second option. For that I need an FLB video. It will import to your timeline without any player. And the video also plays on timeline. To import FLB video, click on the second option and click on the browse button. Select the video. I have made the same video as FLB to show you guys. Selecting it, click open. Then click next. In this page, you don't need to change anything. Click next and finish. Here it is. If you drag the red line here, see, it's playing. The last option is same as the FLB import, but you can import an MP4 file here and the video will not export. So this is how you can import image, audio and video file. Hope you like this tutorial. If you like this, please hit thumbs up. Do subscribe if you are new to my channel. This is Krishna and I am signing out. See you later.